Welcome to Astro Tina. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sagittarius Horoscope, September 2024. Now, this month brings a mixed set of outcomes for Sagittarius individuals. Early in the month, it's essential to focus on work and avoid unnecessary gossip or excessive communication, which could lead to complications. Neglecting professional responsibilities might pose career challenges. And in business, maintaining positive relations with your partners and avoiding aggression will be crucial to preventing potential setbacks. The beginning of the month may bring hurdles in business. But starting from September 4th, when Mercury uh, transits into Leo in your ninth house, things should improve. Now, bringing potential profits by month's end. Now, romantic relationships are likely to progress. Though minor conflicts could arise, it's advisable to minimize these conflicts. Students may find this a favorable month for academic achievements. Family life will have its ups and downs with some travel possibilities on the horizon. Health-wise, caution is advised. Financially, the month is expected to bring mixed results with both expenses and income needing careful management. Now let's look at career. This month holds significant potential for career success. The sun ruling the 10th house will be strong and exalted in its own sign in the 10th house, promising substantial career advancement, increased recognition and possible promotions. You're likely to lead the race for advancement bolstering your divine blessings. Mars in the 8th house, governing the 6th house, endows you with a determination need to overcome career challenges. Now, business prospects are also promising, with Jupiter and Venus playing supportive roles. The first half of the month may involve support from experienced individuals, helping you achieve success in your business endeavors. When Venus transits to the 12th house on September 18th, opportunities for international ventures may arise, making the latter part of the month particularly favorable for expanding your business plans and achieving substantial success. Now, looking at your finances, your financial situation this month will be a mix of earnings and expenditures. Jupiter's presence in the sixth house may drive up expenses, particularly related to health or assisting your siblings. Now, Saturn's retrograde placement in the third house, observing the twelfth house, might lead to further spending. However, financial prospects are set to improve gradually in the latter half of the month. From September 18th, Venus in the 11th house will enhance your financial standing. And from September 23rd, Mercury in the 10th house and Sun in the 9th transiting the 10th will strengthen your finances. While significant investments should be approached with caution, this month offers potential for financial stability. Now let's move on to health. Health requires attention this month due to Jupiter's placement in the 6th house, which could lead to health concerns. Avoid overindulgence in fatty foods to prevent issues like um, high cholesterol, weight gain, digestive problems. The combination of retrograde Saturn, Mars in the 7th, and Mercury in the 8th may initially exacerbate your health issues. But improvements are expected as a month progresses. However, caution is still advised, particularly in avoiding excessive use of intoxicating substances to maintain your well-being. Now moving on to love, marriage, and personal relations. For those in romantic relationships, the month is generally favorable, though minor fluctuations may occur with Rahu in the 5th and Ketu in the 11th, along with Venus's influence in the 11th house during the first half of the month, your relationship is likely to maintain affection and mutual understanding. However, it's wise to be cautious and not overly trusting, especially in new relationships as there could be some selfish behavior from your partner. Now, married individuals can expect a harmonious month. Venus's position in the 11th house suggests potential financial benefits through your spouse and an increase in social prestige. Now, Jupiter's presence in the 7th house throughout the month will enhance marital sweetness, stability, and mutual efforts in improving the relationship. Your life partner will play a vital role in family happiness, making this month a month of marital bliss. Now moving on to family and friends. Family life presents a mix of experiences this month. Jupiter ruling the second house will be in the seventh house, emphasizing your significant role in managing family affairs with your life partner playing a crucial role. However, 
Mars's influence from the eighth house on the second house may lead to potential heated debates with your family. So maintaining harmony is achievable. Saturn's retrograde state in the fourth house throughout the month, along with the Sun's position in the tenth house during the first half, may bring health challenges to your parents. Despite this, financial improvements within the family is likely, possibly including the acquisition of new assets. You'll focus on your siblings' well-beings, offering them support, which can bring happiness to the family. Health improvements to your parents may occur in the latter half of the month. So some themes for this month would be lucky religious trip traveling, a chance for overseas travels. And this is also a great month for grandparents who want to spend time with their grandchildren. It's also a good time for your workplace and getting recognition in the workplace. And some crucial dates. The 9th and the 10th days will be expensive. You get the 10th, the 22nd and the 23rd. Those are not good days for your health. And the 27th and 28th, those days are stressful. So you might not feel your best on those days. And when we're looking at love, the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and the 20th, those are great days for love. Uh, for students, the 6th to the 11th and the 30th, those are great days for students to focus and get your work done. Regarding your health, the 22nd and 23rd are not good days for health. And good money days are the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Yeah, that's a lot of days. Good money days. So that's where you should have money in your hands, money in your pockets. Those are good days to ask for a loan, ask for your money back, ask your spouse for some cash. Those are great money days for you. And the 12th, 13th, and 17th. Those are great days if you... Uh, are in the stock market, you're looking to sell, make some profit. Those are good days where you can um, cash out. And if you are looking to learn from the stock market, the 27th is a good day where you can look at your investments and learn something uh, important for future investments. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to press that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.